Hello everyone, this is Direwolf20, and welcome to episode 56 of Direwolf20's server play series. Today I'm joined by Direwolf20 and Direwolf20. Hi guys, how's it going? Good, how are you? Good, Fireball, have you seen my good. new arrows? They're really cool. Check it out. I haven't. <laughs> <laughs> yes, I see. Ow! I'm a really good shot with them. <laughs> you are a surprisingly good shot with that, yes. <laughs> uh yeah, not not too shabby, huh? I uh I'm rather rather well, to be fair, I made an archery game that's all about accuracy, so in testing it I got a little bit better at aiming, I think, for the most part. Nice. Do you guys want to come check it out? I well, XCOM's seen it, but Fireball hasn't yet. How do I get there? Just head to Digger and make a left. Can't miss it. Oh. Yeah, I'm uh, I'm making a few additions at the moment. Uh, let's see. I think eight's about where I want to be with I'm this. I'm going to go make a bow. What's that? I'm going to go make a bow. Cool. Well, I'm marginally impressed. I just linked while morphing. Nice. And the morph continued on the other side. Well, that's pretty good. <laughs> like, okay. Is it, that's what it's supposed to do, though, right? Yeah, I'm just kind of impressed that the consistency was there. That I didn't link either already morphed or not morphed or, you know, something terrible. Right. Alright, so in theory, items like up here should get eaten. See? Items However, back I'm here not healing properly. Get eaten. Not quite up there. Over here, yes. So the height's okay, but the sideways is probably not. Let's see, over there, get eaten. I just want, like, the main thing to be like most of these arrows get eaten so i need to get something more towards the middle on the back here but over here should be covered just fine i'm setting it up right now to collect the arrows that are dropped when you know this thing finishes oh okay yeah cool yep um i guess i'll do this like right here should be a good spot so put this here and then eight of these guys and um let's see there we go ow yep yeah right i figured i wouldn't get a good chance <laughs> In the future. Ah. Alright, that should actually collect most arrows that get dropped on the floor. So, what I'm going to do then is plop this guy here. And there we go. Well, I know that doesn't ignite the hay bales. I can't imagine Minecraft physics ever being that accurate, but you know. <laughs> I know, right? That'd be funny. So I've made a few tweaks to the code. I haven't fixed the two players having the exact same score bug yet, but I'll get around to that. I just have been lazy with regards to that. But I tweaked the timing a little bit. I think it's a proper level of difficulty now. I, I didn't make it quite as long as we made it yesterday when playing with Warwax. I cut it back a second at each level. So I think it's like three, four, five now, something like that. So you want to give it a shot, Fireball? Yeah, sure. Just hit play game. Choose your name. I assume you stand here in the middle? Yeah, that's pretty much generally where you stand, but I haven't been too aggressive about it. So the, the general rule is on normal difficulty, you have about um, three seconds, I think it is, to hit the target. Uh, the first five rounds is one target at a time, and the um, second five rounds is two targets at a time. And I, I'm going to recommend against using fire arrows. Cause Me too, because it... it looks like it makes it more difficult. It does. I, I feel like it very much does. 
Because you can't actually see the it. targets that are lifted up behind the fire. Yeah. Like, up there is. There you go, you hit it. Yeah. That's pretty good, because that one's hard to hit. Yeah, that is one to hard, that, that's hard to hit. That's for sure. I gotta go find a different bow. Yeah. I recommend using the Tinker's one, because the Tinker's one will definitely cause arrows. Do these things just expire after a period of time, or what's the deal? Oh, yeah, they go away. Okay. The Tinker's uh, one will cause the... vanilla arrows to drop as items. Like, go see uh, if no. you can pick up those arrows. It's uh, infinity. So, they're not... he won't let you pick them up. Alright, look out, fireball. It's hard to see when there's this stuff going on here. More of a challenge. Yeah, right. Go find a bow. Yeah, it's definitely picking up my arrows, so that's good. Provided I actually hit a target. Mm -hmm. If it you don't hit a challenge. target, if you hit a block, they get stuck as item. They get stuck in the block. But when the target drops, um, is when they turn into item entities that the extra utilities thing can pick up. Ah. Nice. Yeah, it's definitely picking them up, so that's good. Not bad. Total score is 77. I think that might have brought me above Orax's score, didn't it? Oh, yeah. And Slowpoke played earlier. So, yeah, some of the arrows. Let's see if I throw these in here. Yeah, I collected all but one arrow. Nice. So, that's awesome. Just trying to think if there's anything else I want to add to the archery game, or if it's pretty much good. I mean, we've got the arrow option down there. So if you need arrows, just grab them from that ender chest and put them back in when you're done. Okay. I might want to work on a little bit more ender IO this episode. Now that I've pretty much completed the archery game for the most part. By the way, the um, accuracy counts. So your score is um, based on how close to the yellow center target you hit. Nice. Yeah. All right, guys. I think I'm going to work a little bit more on Ender IO this episode. So what I'm going to do is go get um, some of the components I need, and then I'll meet you back at uh, my base, and we'll start putting together a couple more machines and a couple more gadgets from Ender IO that I definitely want to check out. All right. Back in a moment. All right, guys, we're back, and uh, since we took a little bit of a break, I'm going to go ahead and start cooking up some good stuff from Ender IO. That shouldn't take too long to make this stuff. I do have the top-tier capacitor in this thing, that's right. Um, so we'll see how long it takes to cook up some things. So, T-Love joined us, I believe? Yes. How's it going? Pretty good. Finally getting back to work on my uh, place. And nice. yes, my base. I definitely want to snag one of those travel anchors. Is that Mr. XCOM poking around as a golem? Yep. You know what the problem with the Ender IO is? What? He named one of the items in his mod the same as his mod. So when I look for that item, I find every item in his mod. That's not... Yeah, that's not conducive to search. No. Uh, so let's see. I need some fused quartz. That should be hard to get. And I'll just need an Eye of Ender. That's done. That'll do. Cool. Have you played at all with Ender IO yet, Mr. XCOM? Not at all. I kind of looked at it in any eye, but aside from that. Here, I'll show you one of the coolest blocks. All right. 
Why are all the dummies on fire? Or at least what I think is a pretty cool block. Okay. So, if you come over here, I'm going to set this up. Well, I guess I can't put it there, can I? Because Soren. I think you just smashed a bunch of stuff, in fact. Shh, don't tell him. He'll yell at me. Yeah, you just smashed a uh, pink cable of some kind? Yeah, pink cable. Pink All cable. fixed. There you go. All fixed. And he'll never know I did anything wrong. <laughs> Hooray. Right. <laughs> That's an abyssal <laughs> facade and not a fitted stone. I know. <laughs> okay. <laughs> All right, you ready? Whoa, that was neat. Yeah, stand on that block, and you should see when you're standing on it, there's another block kind of in the distance there. Ah, huh, yeah. And just aim at that. And when it's red, jump. Whoa. Cool stuff? That's cool stuff. Yeah. It's a pretty short range teleport, but if you make a travel anchor or a, a travel rod. Yeah, staff of traveling. That's what it is. I need to make one of those. So that's just going to require some dark steel and an ender crystal. So I'm going to need a soul binder for this and 100,000 RF, no doubt. Uh, and it needs to have a Enderman soul goodies. Can't wait to make one of those. Um, I want to get a staff of traveling, so I guess I need a soul binder. You don't happen to know if I can get Enderman heads from the beheading enchant, do you? I don't know, but it would stand to reason. I would think. All right, well, let me show you the Ender IO while I'm at it. All right, the Ender IO from Ender IO. Yeah. So come back over to this uh, platform now, and you should see a new block in the distance. Okay, yeah, I see it. So jump now. Um, interesting. So you should be able to interact with any of the blocks in the radius there. Oh, well, interesting. Okay. Um, you can put well items in and pull items out. Over here. Yeah. I, I don't seem to be able to interact with any of the blocks over here. You should oh, be able to just right-click on it. Left-click to look around. Right -click and on these. Maybe not. Maybe because we were both on it? I'm not on it now. Can you do it now? You should be able to interact with the blocks. You can look around and hold left-click to like look around things. Yeah. That I look neat. You definitely should be able to interact with them. Maybe you need the staff of traveling to be able to interact. Maybe. Maybe. I'm gonna make a staff of traveling then. Uh, I need it does to get... say allows remote access to nearby blocks used with travel anchors or the staff of travel. Yeah, so it should work. Yeah, and since these blocks are from the mod that does this. You know what, it might be, we do have kind of a test version on the server here. I think he dropped like an early version in, so maybe that's why. Maybe. That might be it. So that I guess the first thing I want to make then is the Ender. The Ender? Yeah, the Ender. I'm going to need Dark Steel, which is Iron, Coal Dust, and Obsidian. I don't think I have any of this stuff, do I? No. So let's get like... A bit of you, a bit of you. I don't know that I have any coal dust laying around, do I? Oh, I do, okay. All right, I'm staring at a mana pool. What's the entry point for Botania? <laughs> uh, like, how do you get do started you with it? Uh, what's the thingy I should make? <laughs> Staring at a mana pool. Uh, you should make a weak mana pool or the diluted one or whatever. Yeah. And then you should make a daybloom. And a pure daisy. Mm-hmm. 
and mm -hmm. a mana spreader. Or what you can do is you can get a book and a sapling and put them together in a crafting table, and you'll have a guide for it. Yeah, I've actually got one. The uh, Lexica Botania or something like that. Yep, that should tell you everything you need to know. Yeah, left it at home. Oh, uh, I probably have one around if you want to borrow it. Ah, it's cool. I was just sitting there going, huh, ah, mana pool. I have things. I could throw things into the mana pool. Aw, you killed it. What? It's been there for Ender for Pearl. days. Oh, uh, the hobgoblin. Yes. I've come to be very amused by the fact that you could be in here and see him peek through the window. You need to do something about this. What's that? His essence berry uh, bushes and the autonomous activator survived the holocaust over here. Oh, uh, nice. But... But uh, none of the stuff for collecting the essence berries survived. So the essence berries have just kind of been collecting on the ground here. Why morph to ass? Yourself. Why do I have so little health? <laughs> There's a bug in um, Morph, I believe, where... What was it, Dyer, if you logged off? I think if you log off while you're morphing, you might get stuck with the wrong amount of health. Are you still low on health, XCOM? Hold still. Well, come back. There we go. Linking helps. Oh, linking helps too? Okay. Yeah. I happen to know the code that's involved when you link. And I know that it tells the client what your health is, so... Well, that's interesting. Being as I wrote the code for linking. Did you? I never would have guessed. <gasps> yeah. I, I mostly remember everything it entails, because I wrote it, and I rewrote it, and I've kept it in sync with Minecraft and all sorts of things. Oh, I but want like... a wireless charger, but... I need an Enderman head. Okay. Hmm. Plus two damage when powered, and it's Let's empowered. see here. Tinker's Construct could get uh, the uh, a special enchant for... Or a, there was a modifier you could apply to weapons for Tinker's Construct weapons in order to have beheading. It's a property, right? Yeah, I'm going to test that out. Um, yeah, I'm going to try that too. Um... Uh, what is the modifier, though? What's what's the item you use? Uh, you want to make a cleaver, because that has it, like, by default. And then the modifier should be... Um, where, where's all your experience at, Fireball? Is it gone? Yeah, that would have been blown up. Most oh. of it... What's left is still kind of in tanks around the ground. <laughs> yeah, they're not really full, though, and accessible. Unless I'm doing it wrong. No, I think the little bit that's left in there isn't retrievable. Okay. Uh, somebody you can else has retrieve an it if you can get it, click on the right tanks. But who else has an essence berry farm? Um... I think uh, TT cuts us. Does he? Does he? All right. So, uh, yeah, guys, I'm upgrading the Ender here. I want to get a good one. I do want to try and compare. I don't know if the Tinker's one. It'll definitely increase zombie drops because I tested that. But I don't know if, like, just Endermen in general drop skulls or if you need to use the Ender for, the, for them to drop skulls. So I'm going to test that. So I'm going to make a cleaver. I'm going to do that off camera because you guys have seen Tinker's. Uh, you know what that's all about. And I'm going to continue upgrading that uh, the Ender that I have there. And I'll be back in a minute once I get a little bit of experience and figure out where his experience farm is. All right, guys, we're back. And real quick, I put together all the ingredients I need for this awesome cleaver. And I just went ahead and made manual and tool rods because I was mostly being lazy. Uh, let's get this as upgraded as possible. So I should be able to do, I'm going to put a total of five upgrades on this thing. There we go. Upgrades remaining five. 
And then I should be able to very quickly get myself beheading five, I guess. If there is a beheading five. I guess there is. Sweet. Oh. Are you guys cheating over there? Uh, no. Yes. Yes. <laughs> if we were going to be honest about it, yes. I guess there's Enderman in the deep dark, right? Um, wouldn't it just be uh, easier yeah. to go to the end? I guess. Do we have a book to the end? Well, there um, used to be a book to the end. There was, yeah. I can't remember where it is Oh, we do have a book right to the now, end. Though. I kind of forgot that we had this. There's a Under long dark. cobblestone path here. Where does That's... this lead? Twilight Forest. Is the book to the end from the, uh, from Digger? Yeah. All right. Hello. I do have to oh. charge up my ender, by the way. That goes to the Enderman farm I was in the middle of making. Like, oh. I totally forgot about. <laughs> I was gonna, that's, it's what it looks like, but it doesn't look like it's, like, working yet. Yeah. So I'm gonna my put on... What I've been working on here, I've not nearly finished it, but... That's enough power for now. Alright, we're gonna test to find out does the decapitator from um, or yeah from from Tinker's construct get you Enderman heads? Lots of angry Enderman. All right, so initial signs are not good. I'm getting Ender pearls, but I'm not getting Enderman heads. I got a wizard hat. using the present I gave you. What's that? He gave XCOM a present, why isn't he using it? Uh, it's special. So yeah, I think you should this use it. The case. I'll use it when it's a you know when it's meaningful to use it. Okay. <laughs> right, so uh I'm not good at killing these things. There we go, I got an Enderman head. Yay. Using the Enderman. Oh, okay. I need a couple of these things, so I might as well get a few more here. Alright guys, I'm gonna try killing them. It seems to be pretty rare. Yeah, don't use anything with fire on it, because they'll just start teleporting around like crazy. Oh boy. My that was weird looking. I better eat something and come back in a minute. Alright guys, I finished I have two Enderman heads so far. Now I'm just gonna collect some Enderman souls. <laughs> How does that work? I need like this soul binder thingy and some stuff. And you basically just right click on them. Got a lot of ender pearls out of this, that's for sure. Enderman heads must be super rare. Because even using the ender, it's like I only got two heads and I have like four and a half stacks of ender pearls. <laughs> wow. Yeah. All right, so let's now make a soul binder. Uh, for this, I'm going to need all that stuff, plus one of the Enderman head I got. Nice. And we'll also get the energy conduits. And we'll pop this guy down right over here. Cool. Now, if I want to get the Staff of Traveling, I need an Ender Crystal, which is a Soul Vial with Enderman in it. Neat. Uh, plus a Vibrant Crystal and 100,000 RF. So I have my Vibrant Crystal ready. And I've got my Soul Vial of Enderman and 10 experience points. Oh, I need to get some experience. Probably because I died a few times in there, I lost it. I'll be back after I probably kill a few more Endermen. So the good news is I got another Enderman head while hunting for experience in the end, so I should be able to give experience and nice. So this will probably take a little bit because we have to, you know, 100,000 RF out of this thing, but not too bad, nice. All right, what other recipes can I do for this thing? I can get, oh, the Franken zombie. I can do stuff with the broken spawners. Oh, I need this for the ender rail. Interesting, that's what he did for the ender rail recipe. Okay, that's not too bad. 
And uh, I can also get an enticing crystal. Those things are cool. Uh, we can use those for the attractor obelisk. We might check them out later. So now I should be able to make my staff of traveling. Sweet. And then I also want the wireless charger, if I may. So I need an ender resonator. So I need solarium, vibrant alloy, and silicon. Solarium, vibrant alloy, silicon, and an enderman head in the slice and splice. I think it was something like this, right? Nice. That might take a minute, so I'm going to steal the octodick here, and that'll be a lot faster than... Okay, so I can put these away. Wireless charger. I guess I need one of those. I'll need some glowstone. And here we go. Hopefully I have vibrant alloy still. I do not. I'm all out. I'll need some energetic alloys and a couple ender pearls in this thing. While those are cooking, I'll clean up my inventory for a minute. That all looks pretty good. I'll throw my enderman ahead away as well. And get my two vibrant alloys. Now we're talking wireless charger. Sweet. I might install this thing in a little bit uh, somewhere else, but for now I just want to pop it down onto my energy conduit line. So all I should have to do is that, and it should start charging my stuff for me. Look at it go. Yeah, I think the wireless charger for RF items is the best. Do you have any RF stuff, Fireball? Uh, not at the moment, but um, I've been playing with that on... On your pack, actually, and yeah, that thing's got a great range. It really does. It's 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 really pretty good. I'm not sure exactly how far it is, but it's pretty decent. All right, so not here. So from here. It's like 21 or so. Yeah, that's a good range. Maybe 25 blocks, give or take. Yeah, that's not bad. No, not at all. And now I've got my Staff of Traveling. Nice. wonder if the Staff of Traveling works for the interacting with machines. No, it's really weird. I can't interact with any machines. I'm going to have to bug uh, Crazy Pants and see why that might be. For some I reason... I on a server... What's that? It might be because we're on a server. I thought it would work on a server, wouldn't it? I think because it's... Because the way that you're... You're not close enough to the machines to actually interact with them. I, I think mm. that's the... Um... Well, I mean, I would imagine that he overcomes that, right? I don't know. I'll An interesting question. I, I think we have a, a dev version on here, too. So maybe it's broken in this version. We'll figure it out. All right, guys, I'll be back in a minute. All right, guys, there's one more thing I want to do before we wrap up the episode here. Um, I want to try out the crossbow in that game that I made there. So I've got a little bit of manulin left in the smeltery here, and I need some iron melted down. So I'll be back when I'm done. All right, so if I'm right about this, and I'm pretty sure that this is the way it works, uh, once you have some iron melted down in your smeltery here, uh, all you need is an iron tool rod, which I just made the cast for. 
And then you put the iron tool rod, I don't need the stone one anymore, in here, and you pour whatever material you want over it. So I'm gonna go with manulin for now. I think it goes in there? Maybe it doesn't, maybe it goes in here. Hoping I'm right about this. All right, maybe I'm not, hold on, bolt. go so if I wanted a manual and bolt oh we need to be a manual and tool rod with copper or bronze or cobalt or steel or aluminite or manual 144 millibuckets oh okay I guess I can't mix and match the tops of them well no I should be able to is there an iron bolt Oh no, it did. It, it finally cooled off. Okay. No, I was doing it right. Nice. Iron bolt with a manual and tip, I guess. And then I'll get some of the leaves. I think I just need maybe one. I'll get some fletching. And I think I can make bolts like this. Nice. So out of curiosity with no upgrades, I'm curious. There we go. That's not bad. This is uh, upgraded with Nether Star and everything for like the top tier of haste. I don't know that it's the best crossbow available in terms of draw speed. I'm sure there's probably slightly better crossbows that you could make with a better initial draw speed, but I'm hoping this might be a little bit better. So I'm gonna try my game just like this. So uh, we're gonna wrap up the episode here pretty much. That's kind of cool. Not as fast, oh, you know what? Maybe it doesn't register the bolts. That's the other thing I wanted to test, is do bolts register? And apparently they don't really. Yeah, I think it's hitting, but it's not registering. So it must only work with arrows. That's unfortunate, no crossbows for us. Did that register? No, that registered a score. That definitely registered a score. Just not super well. I don't understand. Sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't. See, that was definitely a hit. I don't know, it's being weird. We definitely got one score registered, but that was about it, oddly enough. Oh well, maybe crossbows don't work. Gonna have to be bows only. I'll try the short bow. I want to see if that's a little bit better accuracy, and maybe I'll even try the other bow, um, like the the thermal or the thermal expansion one. There's a thermal bow too. I could try that. Anyway, for now, Direwolf20 signing off. Hope you guys enjoyed the episode. We will be back next time. Uh, maybe some more Ender.io stuff. Maybe some other cool build stuff. We shall see. All right, guys. Uh, take it easy.